Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Promise and in today's yoga class, we'll be going through just a basic yoga flow that is accessible for everyone. We'll be working the full body. We'll be working on both strengthening and creating flexibility while getting deep into our breath and clearing the mind, clearing the body. Just to start your day off right, start the week off right or whatever time that you're doing it but we'll just be going through the postures with alignment giving us time to breathe in the postures and really feel it in our body okay so that being said let's just start in our easy seated pose and you know maybe you have your yoga mat if you don't that's okay you know you could just use a soft floor just whatever works all right so let's begin to just lengthen through the spine. Ground down through your sits bones, finding that perfect even spot. Roll those shoulders away from your ears. Chin is level to the ground. Begin to just soften through your face, soften through your jaw. Creating a sense of presence for your practice. Expressing gratitude. Always starting the practice with gratitude for your body, for your health. Now let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Pausing. Exhale through the mouth. Deep breath in. Now just establish a steady rhythmic breath in and out through your nose. Try to lengthen every inhale, lengthen every exhale. Breathing into your belly. Might even be helpful to take one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly and breathe into your palms. Just feeling that connection to your breath. setting an intention for your practice something you can carry with you throughout the rest of your day the rest of your week it's going to be a positive affirmation that you can even repeat to yourself in your practice with every inhale i am strong every exhale i am beautiful Open the eyes, take the hands to the knees. Bring your inhale forward, chest is open, kind of arching your spine here, and then exhale, rounding to the left. Inhale, bringing it back forward. Exhale, rounding it back. So kind of leading with your chest here. Big, wide, open circles. Letting it just be fluid, not trying too hard here. And then switching directions. Good. Coming back to center. Let's go ahead and just circle out through the neck nice and slow. Slow as you need to take it. Just being very mindful of the neck. And you can switch directions as you're ready. Good. 
good and slowly come back to center let's inhale arms out to a t draw your shoulder blades together puff up through your chest really reach in opposite directions really reach the crown of the head for the ceiling sits bones down towards the mat and then exhale bring it all into center fingertips touching rounding the spine inhale open exhale round inhale arch exhale rounding one more inhale and exhale good hands back to the knees Let's take just a gentle twist. Inhale, reaching long, and then twisting right hand to that left knee. Left fingertips tented behind you. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale back to center. Let's make our way to a tabletop. Hands will be underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Go ahead and flow through some cat cows or take any other fluid movements that you feel that your body intuitively needs. But always moving with your breath. So maybe circling out through your hips. One direction and then the other. Stretching out through your wrists. It's always good to just take a few moments to intuitively move your body. Give it exactly what it's asking for. As we're ready, let's meet back into that tabletop. Let's make our way to our first down dog. So begin first by drawing attention to your hands. You just want to make sure that the weight is mostly in your thumb, index finger, and middle finger, and you're really pressing down through your knuckles, through the fingertips to protect your wrists, okay? Tuck the toes under, send the hips high, down dog. In the first down dog, go ahead and walk it out. Just create some movement and continue to breathe. Deep breath in. Breath out. We want our feet to be hip distance apart. Keeping a bend in the knees because we're really trying to lengthen the spine. And this will help you tilt the pelvis. Shoulders away from the ears. And it's okay if the feet are not completely flat on the mat. Letting the neck be relaxed. Belly draws up and in just to really lift those hips up higher. Aiming most of your weight to be in the legs. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Deep breath in. breath out. Shifting your weight forward to a high plank. Bending your knees down for a modified plank. So bringing that low belly up and in. Tucking your tailbone slightly. Deep breath here. As we exhale, let's bend our elbows close to the sideways and come all the way down to the belly with control. Point the toes. Inhale to your low cobra. So hands underneath shoulders, little to no weight is in your hands. Focus on drawing your shoulders together, your elbows together, tops of feet pressing hard into the mat. Deep breath here. And 
Exhale, pressing yourself up and rolling yourself back to a child's pose. Knees come wide, big toes touch. Let's take that modified flow again. Inhale, roll forward to a modified plank. Exhale, low plank, elbows pull in close. Inhale, low cobra, firing up those back muscles, creating strength, little to no weight in the hands. And exhale, press up and back, child's pose. If you're ready, let's make our way back to our down dog, tuck those toes. Take a deep breath in, breath out. Walk your hands back to meet your feet, back of the mat, forward fold, bend your knees, grab opposite elbows, and just sway it out. Releasing all expectations, all worries, all stress. Deep breath in, sigh it out. Deep breath in. So let it be loose, let it go. Let's inhale to a half lift. So hands to your shins. Rocking the weight slightly more forward to the front of the feet. Try to create a flat surface tabletop with your back. Looking forward slightly, shoulders down away from your ears. For a moment, let's bring our arms out to a T just to really engage that core and fire up through those back muscles. Creating some stability. Keep a bend in those knees. Good, hands back to your shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Let's walk it out to our downward facing dog. Inhale to a high plank. So you have the option to modify just like before, or maybe if you're feeling strong today, hold this high plank. Again, belly draws up and in. Protraction through your shoulders. So shoulder blades are drawing apart slightly to puff up between the shoulder blades. Crown of the head forward, heels pull back. Fire up through the legs. Deep breath in. Now as we exhale, try to come halfway down to our chaturanga. Elbows drawing close. Inhale, upward facing dog. So pressing the tops of the feet into the mat, kneecaps off of the mat. And exhale, down dog. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Let's do that again. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Just listen to your body. If that was too much for your low back, just stick to a low cobra pose. Always checking in, just meeting yourself with where you're at, okay? Deep breath in. Breath out. Let's inhale that right leg high, bending your knees, stacking your hips, opening up through that right hip, grounding through the left foot, your right palm, taking some knee circles, one direction and the other with control. Find your breath. Let's inhale that right leg high, square up the hips, lengthen the leg. Knee to nose, shift the weight forward and step that foot lightly between your hands. Planting the left hand, inhale, right arm comes high for a twist. Gazing past that right hand. Right hand comes back down. Let's lower the left knee down on the mat. If this is harsh on your knee, you could roll over the mat and cushion it up. So make sure this right knee is right over the right ankle. 
And you can keep your hands on the mat and just feel the stretch. If you want more, you could inhale your arms up. Getting into this left hip flexor. Letting it be gentle. Finding that balance between effort and ease. Relaxing the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen up. And exhale, bending your elbows, squeeze those shoulder blades together behind you. Inhale up. And exhale, hands to the mat. Let's shift the hips back, hands are on the mat. Coming to a half split, so flexing through the right foot. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, forward folding. Go ahead and bring it back forward. Tuck your left toes under. We're gonna walk ourselves to the length edge of our mat. So toes in, heels out. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward folds. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Let's go ahead and walk ourselves back to, right, to that right foot, framing the foot. Inhale, high plank, exhale, low plank. Up dog or cobra, inhale, exhale, down dog. Take a deep breath in. Breath out. Inhale your left leg high to the sky, bending your knees, stacking your hips. Maybe circling out through this left knee if that feels good. Opening the hip. Inhale, left leg high. Knee to nose, shift that weight forward, step that foot lightly <laughs> between the hands. Planting the right palm, inhale, left arm high for a twist. Easing past that left hand, really reaching. Hips are sinking. Let's bring that left hand back down, bringing the right knee down to the mat, maybe creating the cushion but make sure this left ankle is underneath the left knee. Hands can stay on the mat or inhale, arms up. Finding the balance of effort and ease in every yoga posture. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, bending your elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades together, opening up through your heart space. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands on the mat. Shifting your hips straight back. Hips are still level. Flexing the left foot. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Bringing that weight back forward. Tuck your left toes under. And we're gonna bump this right foot up to meet the left. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, inhale, high plank or modified. Low plank, exhale. Up dog or cobra, inhale. Down dog, exhale. On your next inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward, and let's step or hop to the front of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain pose. Exhale, Samas Titihi, hands to heart center. Deep breath in. Breath out. Inhale, extend a mountain. Exhale, bending the knees, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Plant the hands. You can always skip this part and move straight to your down dog or take your vinyasa. Meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes high. Knee to nose, shift that weight forward. Step it lightly between your hands. Drop that left foot at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna inhale, press up to warrior one. So take a moment with your hands on your hips. We're making our hips relatively square. So if that left knee is okay with it, there's no tension, try to draw the left hip more forward and the right hip back to make your two hip points square to the two points of the front of your mat. Now belly draws up and in. Make sure you see the right big toe. So you're always tracking the knee towards the pinky side of the foot. As you're ready, arms up. Virabhadrasana one. Reaching through your fingertips. Find a strong breath here. Deep breath in. Breath out. Relax those shoulders. Deep breath in. Breath out. One more inhale. We're gonna exhale, open up to our warrior two. So for our warrior two, that back foot opens almost more towards a 90 degree angle, parallel to the back side of your mat. You can still see that right big toe at the front of your mat. Try to sink low in that right knee, but try to spread the mat apart with your two feet. So you're still really pressing in that back foot as well to even out the pressure in your legs. And those arms are reaching in opposite directions. Gazing over that right middle finger, finding your drishti, which is your one spot of focus, one gaze. This helps you develop a meditative mindset. Relax those shoulders. Shoulder blades drawing together slightly. Now let's flip this right palm and inhale to a reverse warrior. So left hand gentle to this left thigh. Right arm is just reaching tall, creating some space through that right side. On your next exhale, come to a side angle. So right forearm to this right thigh. Left arm will reach high and we're gonna gaze over that left hand. You're trying to create one plane here. So your shoulders are in line with your hips. So notice if you're coming forward, try to draw yourself back a little bit. Reaching. Your next inhale, reverse the warrior once again. From here, we're gonna straighten the right leg, coming to reverse triangle pose. So the right leg is straight, hips are coming slightly more forward. This right arm is reaching up and then over that right ear, creating a big stretch through that right side. Deep breath in, breath out. Okay, now arms come back to parallel. Hips go to the back of the mat. Reach through the right hand, creating that space. Setting up for Trikonasana Triangle, right hand to your right shin. Now it can just kind of float or it can kind of rest on the right shin. Now it's not really important to try to touch the ground, okay? What is more important is staying lifted. So this left arm can reach at a sharp 12 o'clock. 
Use your core here to keep yourself lifted, reaching in all directions. Then gazing past that left hand. Inhale, come back to center, hands to your hips. From here, go ahead and bend back into that right knee. Come back to your warrior two. Deep breath in. And exhale, hands find the mat. Good, framing this right foot. Let's inhale to our high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good. Inhale, your left leg high to the sky. Knee to nose, stepping it forward. <laughs> right between the hands. Right foot plants at a 45 degree angle, setting up for warrior one. Inhale, arms up. So again, hips are relatively square to the top of your mat. You can see the left big toe. Belly draws up and in, lifting the pelvic floor as well. It's for that extra layer of protection and energy flow. Slight tuck down of your tailbone to lengthen through your spine. Finding that breath connection, the most important part Breathing deeply, finding the sense of balance and effort and ease. Deep breath in. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Back foot is parallel. I can still see the left big toe. Relaxed shoulders, reaching. Maybe even check back and make sure this right arm is in line with the left. Lengthening through your spine. Letting your hips be open to this right side of your mat. On your next inhale, flip the palm, reverse warrior. Bring that length in your left side body, still bending in that left knee. Exhale, side angle, left arm to your thigh, right arm is reaching high. Now don't let yourself collapse in your shoulders, keep them open. Look past that right hand, take your gaze up. Soften in your face. Inhale, reverse warrior. Straighten that left leg, reverse triangle. Arms come back parallel, hips to the back of the mat. Reach forward, create that space. Exhale, Trikonasana, Triangle Pose. Strong core, strong breath. Reaching in all directions. Good, slowly come back to standing, hands to your hips, take a moment. Softening through that knee. Come back to warrior two. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands find the mat. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, low plank. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Let it out. <sighs> Deep breath in. <sighs> Let's drop to the knees. Find a child's pose rest. 
toes together, knees wide, sinking your forehead on the mat. Just breathe here, breathe into your belly, breathe into your heart space. Come back to your intention for this practice. Maybe repeating your affirmation to yourself again. With every inhale, I am strong. Exhale, I am beautiful. As you are ready, let's meet back in the down dog. Ah, lengthening through the spine, bending through those knees, pressing the mat away from you. On your next inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward, and step your feet to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extend a mountain pose. Exhale, Samus Titihi, hands to heart center. Take a moment, just kind of shake it out, get loose. Okay, so from here we're gonna meet in our tree pose. So let's ground down through the right foot to start, hands on the hips. Begin to just kickstand this left heel out. So you're creating a external rotation through this left thigh okay through the left hip and you know maybe you stay right here today that's okay you just want to focus more on just finding that center of gravity in through that right foot lengthening through the spine now if you feel you can have more let's bring that foot to the inner right shin avoiding the knee if you're feeling balanced you could progress maybe bringing the foot to the inner right thigh. Again, avoiding the knee, letting this left knee open up to the left. You could bring your hands to heart center. Now find one spot you are focusing on. Just one spot that you are gazing at with intensity. Find your breath. If you're feeling up for it, you could also bring your arms up, growing your branches. Letting this posture really ground you, connecting with the earth. Growing your roots, feeling that sense of connection. Hands to heart center if they're not already. And let's slowly release this left leg, shake it out a little bit. Okay, so let's just switch to the other side. So begin to ground down through that left foot, all four corners of the foot. Kickstand that right foot. External ro rotation through the right hip. Hands can be on your hips. Taking it step by step. There's never no reason to hurry into it. Taking your time, building, having patience and knowing that balance is, you know, different almost moment to moment, day to day. You know, practice makes a big difference for sure. But even after doing yoga for years, you know, sometimes there's just days where the balance is just off. And that's part of yoga. It's having acceptance with where you are at currently and just knowing that it is changeable and you should honor yourself with where you are at. Have patience and love for yourself no matter what. And practice is always key. Just always coming back to a practice. It's a nonstop journey of learning and growing and adapting. Yeah, 
hands to heart center. Releasing that right foot and just shake it out. Good. Meeting at the top of the mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Up dog, inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Good. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Long breath out. Deep breath in. Breath out. I'm going to set up for a pigeon pose starting to cool down the practice. So bring this right knee to your right wrist and let the right foot come to the left edge of your mat, resting this left leg behind you. So this can be kind of an intense hip stretch. So I encourage you to keep this right foot in nice and close towards you. You want your right knee to be in line with your right hip, all right? And for a deeper stretch, you bring your right shin more parallel to the front edge of your mat if your body is open for that. But again, just check in with where you are at. There's no reason to force it. So weight is relatively even in both hips. Let's inhale, lengthen, and exhale, hinging forward with the long spine, just finding your depth. So maybe you're down on the elbows. Try to soften your shoulders down away from your ears. Soften every part of you, especially those places that don't necessarily need to be tense. And really use your breath as a tool here. So with every inhale, energetically lengthening your body, taking up space. And then exhale, softening, just softening and surrendering. We tend to hold a lot of emotion and stress in our hips. So with every exhale, really just let yourself release. Release anything that is creating depression or anxiety or any kind of stress in your life. You could stack your fists and rest your forehead on your fists if you would like. Only come back to your hands if you're not there already. Let's tuck the left toes under. Press into the palms. We're gonna lift our hips up to our down dog. And you can stay right here if you would like to circulate that energy, maybe take a vinyasa. Always tailor, tailoring your practice to whatever you need that day. You know, never be afraid to just make it your own. Let's switch to the other side. So bring the left knee to your left wrist. Right leg lengthens back. Again, maybe leaving this left foot in close towards your pelvis. But you just want to bring this left knee so it's in line with the left hip. Lengthening that right leg behind you. Weight is relatively even. Let's inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale, just find your depth, whatever that looks like today. Utilizing the breath to soften into every posture. And it is very good to hold these stretches for, you know, several deep breaths because this gives the body time to adapt and to release the, the deeper fascia and connective tissue of the body. It's as if you're giving yourself a massage, basically. So we're breaking up a lot of 
calcification and adhesions in the body. So um, it's really beneficial to hold the postures for a longer period of time. So <clears throat> you can always leave a posture early if you need to, you know, check in with your body and listen. So you can always go out and then come back in as you are ready. Let's slowly come back to the hands, tuck your right toes under, lift your hips high, down dog. Option to take a vinyasa. As you're ready, making your way down to your sit bones. Let's bring the right foot to the inner left thigh. And inhale, lengthen your arms up. Keep at least a soft bend in that left knee, even more so if your hamstrings are tight. And then slowly forward fold, just reaching for whatever is accessible, not forcing, maintaining a long spine aiming your nose or the crown of your head for that big toe. But keeping a bend in that left knee to begin with and then slowly straightening the leg. Always keeping at least a micro bend in the knee. Inhale, bring yourself up, the switching legs. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bringing yourself up. Let's make our way to a reverse tabletop. So hands will be underneath the shoulders. Now I like fingertips facing forward. Some people like to bring them back. So you find kind of what feels right for you. Maybe try them forward to begin with. And knees will be underneath, um, or ankles underneath the knees. Inhale, lifting your hips up drawing your shoulders together, opening up through those shoulder blades. If it feels good, you can release the neck, let your throat open, pressing through your feet and your palms, lifting your hips. And slowly releasing. Now let's begin to just roll down to our back. 
Once we're there, ankles still underneath the knees. Arms will be right by your sides, palms down. On your inhale, lifting your hips up to a bridge pose. And exhale, slowly rolling your hips back down. Inhale, lifting your hips up, bridge pose. Exhale, rolling them back down. One more inhale to hold it here. Maybe interlace the hands behind you, shimmy those shoulders in a bit closer if that feels good. Press down through your feet, lift those hips. Puff up through your heart space. And then slowly release those hips. Go ahead and just gentle sway side to side of the knees. Let's bring the knees to our chest. Rocking side to side gentle to massage that sacrum, the lower back. Happy baby pose. So your knees come wide, ankles over the knees. Reaching for your ankles, your shins, maybe peace fingers to big toes or outside edges of the feet. But the most important part is keeping your low back on the mat, shoulders on the mat, flattening the spine against the earth. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. your knees back to your chest arms out to a T palms up knees in line with hips ankles in line with knees dropping your legs over to the right for a twist gazing over your left hand Inhale, knees back to center. Next, exhale, knees over to the left. Gazing over your right hand. Really softening here as we come into our final postures of class. Letting your face soften. Really emphasizing your exhale. So making your exhale just a little bit longer than your inhale. This will help you to access the parasympathetic nervous system of the body, which is the rest and digest. We worked hard in our practice, so it's good to always find that sense of balance again, <laughs> always coming to that state of balance, finding the time to be active and use the energy and then time to restore and replenish. You can't have one without the other. Let's bring the knees back to center, hug them in close to your chest. Tell yourself, thank you, thank you, thank you for your practice today. Take a deep breath in. Pause the breath at the top. And exhale, release to your final rest. Shavasana with your legs out long, arms by your sides. Rolling those shoulders away from your ears. Letting your legs come wide. Palms up, open and ready to just receive the benefits from your practice and 
This is really the most important part of the practice. The asana, physical movement, is really designed to allow the body to find this state of meditation. So this means witnessing your thoughts, becoming the observer, choosing to not engage, but simply observe, breathing naturally, following your breath in and out. Letting yourself sink into the earth, completely relax and surrender. We'll take a few moments here together before we close the practice. If you're ready to come out of Shavasana, you don't have to, you can take your time here. If you're ready, begin to move your fingertips and your toes, drawing awareness back to self, circling through your ankles and your wrists. Stretching your arms over your head. Big stretch here. Hugging your knees to your chest. And when you're ready, you can roll to one side. Make your way slowly, taking your time. I'm gonna meet in an easy seated pose. Maybe keeping those eyes closed, taking a moment here to just check in, see how you feel. Coming back to that intention for your practice, letting that carry you through the rest of your day, the rest of your week. Always know that you have the yoga practice to come back to a safe place just authentically grow and be yourself, find your health, sense of ease with growth and effort. Hands come to heart center. Thank you so much for joining me in this beautiful practice. The light in me sees and honors the light in each of you. Namaste.